Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Traps again and this time I got a new video for you guys. Uh, it's going to be about the Nopoli stage of Triops. Um, basically this is the stage where your Triops babies just hatched and they are going through several stages to form their final Triops body. And uh, I just wanted to do like a little video on it. I uh, found some pictures that are made with a uh, electronic micron. Uh, microscope I guess and it shows really detailed pictures of uh, the nuclear stages meta nuclear stages of triops uh, why did I want to um, do something about this uh, subject I actually have some baby nuclear right now so we're going to take a look at them first and later in the video I will show you guys uh, the micron pictures that I found on the internet and uh, I'm just going to use them to explain a little bit of um, what happens with the trials body during uh, the nuclear metanoplier stages and uh, I thought it was a really interesting subject so that's why I wanted to do a video um, the Granarius guys are still doing great um, there are three males left and two females left I did see a decrease in the population. Um, I'm not completely sure why this happened, but it's fine. I still have two females and three males to keep the eggs coming in. And um, uh, I also will do something else like um, when there are still females left and no males left, the females will be able to lay eggs that are not fertilized. So basically these girls will be replaced to the main tank where it's no problem that there will be some empty eggs inside because there will be tons of eggs inside that tank over a while. So let's take a look at the Nopolis. Um They are over here again inside a large hatchery this time again. Um, uh, I started using these uh, extra large hatching containers because um, I'm actually trying to hatch a bit, little bit bigger group and I also wanted to, to keep them a little bit longer inside the hatchery and um, like the other smaller hatcheries are half the size of this hatchery and um, they are only like to hatch your tribes in and then you should uh, replace them to your uh, hatching or nursing tank or your permanent tank for example just to make sure that they get enough room but uh, in this case I actually um, chose to use the XL version of the hatching container and uh, we are going to take a look inside because there are actually several Nopolis inside Nopoli I'm sorry guys um, let's have a look if I can find some oh there is one there he is let's take a closer look There he is. Oh, there's another one as well. And another one. Um, I thought I counted, counted about, let's say, 12 or 16 of them. So I'm pretty happy with the hatching results. That's why I also used an extra large hatching container. Uh, just to give them enough space to develop. Oh, there are quite a bunch. There's another one at the surface. Oh, there are a couple of them at the surface as well. And, um, well... Of course, my uh, camera that I'm using is not able to pick up like uh, the much detailed pictures or uh, footage of these triops, Nopoli, but I am actually able to see some differences. And uh, I was really interested uh, if I could explain like the differences uh, in the Nopoli stages. So that's why I was searching for some uh, biological pictures, like made by scientists and stuff, biological bio biologists. I'm sorry. And, um, well, let's take a look at them. So, um, these are uh, cancriformis uh, triops, but they are the gonochoric version of the cancriformis. So, that's new and that's special to me because I have four hermaphrodite cancriformis species, but... Right now, I also obtained a gonochoric cancriformis species, and it might be the Triops uh, mauritanicus, but I'm not completely sure yet, so that's why I'm referring to it as the gonochoric cancriformis species, because um, the person I got the eggs from actually didn't know completely what it was himself, but he did actually see some females and males. So um, he shown me several. He has shown me several pictures, and I thought it was some kind of cancriformis variant or variety. 
and um, because of that reason I was interested to get them and um, of course for the hybrid pro projects because I was interested in mixing a cancriformis gonochoric species gonochoric cancriformis species with a um, gonochoric granarius species and um, this might actually give a hybrid trial species but I'm not completely sure yet I'm trying to find this out so it is all experimental it is all new to me um, but I actually gathered quite some knowledge about triops in the, the few years that I'm busy with this um, but I'm also I also have been uh, busy with this uh, hobby like daily for that amount of time as well so I actually for me it's some kind of uh, home study um, except there are not much uh, teachers I usually just try to look for articles and um, well, that's where I found the pictures. So let's take a look at the pictures that I found about the Triops um, Metanopoly stages. So this is the first stage of uh, Triops. Um, basically when your Triops hatches, this is how your Triops will look like. Um, it is a um, electronic microscope picture, so it is really uh, magnified a lot. And this is the scale, it's 100 uh, micrometers or uh, micron, so it is really tiny. And um, well, this is the first stage, so it is born like this. Um, trials are actually born with one eye, and that's why it's called the Noplier eye. It is the, um, well, the eye that we can see on the triops. Let me zoom in. This is not cancriformis, but all of the triops have the third eye, so it is something that is in every triops. Um, here you can see two compound eyes. No, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I need a triops that just wants to sit still a little bit. But unfortunately, this is a really active species. Um, there are three eyes on a triops if they want to show them. Oh, there is one. Nope. Give me a second, guys. I need to catch one that's just going to show is the third eye well as you can see they are pretty hard to um, capture <laughs> oh there's a chance um, you can see two compound eyes and right in the middle there is a little bulb that's the third eye and that is the noplier eye or the noplier oculus Oculus means eye, by the way. Um, so, two compound eyes and one noplier eye. So, let's get back to the pictures. Um, let's move on. So, um, this is basically what a triops looks from different sides. Let's have a little look. How the parts develop. And then it's time for your nopli to molt. So, it will molt. And basically, this looks like this. Oh. There is actually one molting right now. So it will swim up and in several seconds it will fall down again. And exactly like that, it falls down and it goes up again and it will shut down in several seconds again. And shut down. So this is basically the molting behavior. So just for you guys just to know, this is not a problem. You will see this behavior, it is not a problem. It is molting and shut down and it just starts to swim up again and and it just starts uh, it will continue like this for like several minutes and then it will just shed its skin and it will go to the next stage so we will move on to the next stage as well so second stage um, here we have the picture of the first stage so you can actually see some differences starting to develop right now and basically what we're going to see is that this part will actually start to develop the first signs of a tail. So this is the tail and these two little spikes are basically um, the tail spikes of a triops that we can see on the back. These little two spikes on the back. So this is the like the beginning. Um, here will the, the legs will um, the tails will form over here. This is the first, these are the first signs of the gill legs. We have uh, the front antenna, and this is what I call the front legs, but 
I'm not completely sure if it's called front legs, but I always call these the front legs. And these are the distinct large legs that you can see over here. The three little spikes. Oh, let's have a look at the third eye. There's the third eye. Over there, the little brown dot in between the two eyes. That's the third eye. So, third eye scene, and we had a look at the front legs. Let's have a zoom. Oh, yeah, so here it actually starts to form multiple parts of what will be your triops. Um, also, this disc shaped part will be the head shield. So, basically, the head shield will form from here. And I think, I'm not completely sure, that this is the ocular eye. This is the third eye. And what will happen to compound eyes will start to form in front of it as well. So let's move on to the third stage. Oh, I'm sorry guys, these are some close-ups of the second stage. Little tiny butt and tiny tails, tail spikes. Let's move on. Uh, give me a second guys. Yeah, like this. And basically we get, move over to the next step and this is almost the final form but over here we can actually see that the tail spikes are actually really developing and also the head shield the head shield is starting to form over here on top and here you can see that the um, front legs are developing the little grabbing legs are developing and the gill legs are developing as well so this is almost the final form of your triops baby and um, it will start to develop again and it will reach the final form and this is basically the final form of your triops before it actually starts to uh, just grow exponentially. So um, over here we have um, the front legs again, antennae. Um, the these are like the grabbing legs, the grabbing legs, and these will be the gill legs. Difference is in the back we see the gill legs, and in the front we see the front legs, what I usually call the front legs. They also are equipped with gills, but they kind of have more like um, a grabbing structure that they can grab and uh, transport food to, towards their jaws, uh, mandibles. And uh, the back legs, like the, the last ones, are, you, are mainly gills. So there are not much uh, grabbing legs anymore. As you can see, the trubs' uh, legs are usually, usually contain several parts as well. I'm not completely sure what the parts individually are called, but um, yeah. That's the difference between the two types of legs that the triops has. Both are equipped with gills, but the front legs are more for uh, digging, uh, grabbing food and stuff. And the back legs are mainly for just breathing and uh, fixing the oxygen to live on. Um, let's take a look at the picture again. So this is basically almost the final form of your triops uh, baby, Nopoli. And um, as you can see, uh, the individual little uh, like um, leg parts will develop as well right now. And this is what you see over here. So basically the grabbing legs are starting to form. This is basically how they can are able to grab stuff, how they are able to grab stuff. And this is a really interesting process for me um, this basically means that the triops is almost finished and this is also the moment where your triops will actually start to bottom feed um, because the mandibles are also starting to develop at this stage i'm not completely sure if it was at this stage or at the next stage um, but that's not a nopoly stage anymore because basically this is the finished nopoly and um, then it will actually start to become like a uh, juvenile first um, Some detailed pictures again Really interesting how 
they made these pictures and this is basically they also s drawn some uh, arrows this is basically the movement that the legs will make at the beginning and this is these are actually the hairs that will help to transport the food um, between the core of the triops legs um, it basically works like a conveyor belt and uh, the conveyor belt will just um, kind of push the food towards uh, the mandibles where the triops will start to um, chew on it and basically ingests it and um, well that's basically how the triops legs will work a little bit um, I hope you guys like these pictures um, they are uh, on the internet as well you can find them on uh, Google if you search or for uh, Nopoli stages of triops so if you want to look if you want to have a closer look yourself I can suggest to look on Google I'm not completely sure what the link was anymore because I made this document like uh, quite a while back and uh, but I didn't have the time to show you to you guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video already uh, we're just going to take a little look at the Triops Nopoli for a little bit and then I'm going to end uh, the video so these are the little Nopolis they are really uh, developing really fast uh, Cancriformis does develop a little bit uh, slower than uh, Longicadaudis or Australiensis. Um, but still, I really like the Cancriformis species also because they are native to uh, Europe as well. And, um, well, I don't know. I really like the Cancriformis that they actually have really large head shields. Because like with Granarius, it is kind of a little bit... The head shields are a little bit smaller. And that gives a way longer tail appearance. And I actually like the head shields a lot. I don't know. It, it really makes them look like the... Give them the fossil look. Um, like combined with the fossil status. Living fossil status that they actually have. Because um, I was... I did read something about Traub's Granarius. That they actually might be 300 million years old. So that's actually even more impressive. But... Not completely sure where I have read it, um, but still. Oh, there's another one molting again. I already added some spirulina algae powder uh, just to make sure that they would get a little bit of food as well. Um, they passed the 24 hours already because it is really important to not feed the triops in the within the 20 within the first 24 hours after hatching because it is actually possible for them to overeat in these first 24 hours because triops will be in the naive state of mind and this basically means that they will just eat anything they can get their little legs on so basically um, it means if you just provide them enough food in such a small uh, um, container um, they will actually be able to overfeed themselves so just make sure that you don't overfeed them within the first 24 hours just don't feed them at all that's basically my advice I have been using this method for quite a while and it definitely does um, decrease the amount of uh, Nopoli or deaths in the first several days, so first several hours by the way. Because if you're actually feeding them like at, let's say uh, the 8th hour after they hatched, they will probably die because they overate themselves. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, this is basically it, um, feel free to stay tuned and uh, have a look at my channel. Thank you for watching guys, hope to see you next time.